everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Glitz and Glue. My name is Cristal. Today, I'll be showing you different ways, tips, tricks, methods of creating some super fun spring slash Easter fake bakes. If you guys want to receive a notification every time I release a video, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and turn on that bell notification so you won't miss out on anything we have going on. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more, you can always go and follow me on Facebook, same Glitz and Glue, Glitz with double T and a Z at the end. And I do a lot of live tutorials over there and you're going to learn some very cool things. So let's get started. I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer, give you guys a better angle and let's begin. Fresh fake bake is going to be a faux carrot. We're going to use our orange model magic. You can purchase your model magic at any craft store, even online. I'll leave some links for you guys. So what you want to do with your model magic, especially if you're using model magic clay, you have to condition your clay. Otherwise, it can crack if you don't. So all you do is exactly what I'm doing now. You just pull it. You knead it. You condition it until you warm it up a little bit. It only takes a few seconds, especially for a piece like a carrot. Once you do that, you're going to roll it into a ball you want to remove this texture here these lines so just keep rolling it around your hand until those lines are gone okay so set it on your table we're then going to roll putting pressure on the lower half of your ball And then you can just use a tool like this to kind of shape the top a little bit flatter. Then with a tool similar to this, a ruler or even an icing smoother or even a toothpick, we're going to do these lines here to resemble a carrot. Then you're going to use your green model magic, like this bag right here. And we're going to do three pieces of the stem so we'll start by rolling this ball like this kind of similar in size they don't need to be all the same and then we're going to roll again similar to the carrot thin on one side and thicker on the other Then we're going to trim this down just a little bit. We can remove these pieces. Now using our toothpick, we'll push it in through the center of the carrot. And then with a tool just like this, we're going to pick our biggest piece. They're all the same. And we're going to push this in through here. This will allow the toothpick to enter easily and not worry about it losing the shape and then use your super glue. I always recommend you use your super glue with your clay and then you're just going to push it all the way down. Repeat the same thing on this side. I'm going to trim these down a little bit. They're a little bit too long. And then we'll do one more on this side. And you have your carrot. You can shape these however you want. You can make them shorter, longer. Uh, I think one shorter and one longer would definitely look better. But here is your first DIY fake bake. Let's move on to the next. On this next one, you're gonna need your white model magic. And same thing, you're gonna condition it really, really well. We're then gonna set it down. 
and then we're gonna extend it with our rolling pin i get asked a lot where my rolling pin is from it is an acrylic rolling pin from michael's but you can also find it at hobby lobby and walmart then you're gonna need a cookie cutter i got this from i think walmart for like a dollar so we're just gonna put it in the center and press down then remove the extra clay all on the outside okay so then now all we're gonna do is bend these ends here and then carefully remove it from our cookie cutter Oh, okay, I'm, I, I'm a little bit aggressive, but <laughs> once you do that, we're actually going to slash in half right here. And then these, we're going to slash in half too. And you're probably wondering, well, what are we going to do? <laughs> I'll show you in just a second. Then we're going to re remove this shape here. We're still going to use the ears. We're just going to use them differently okay step number two is you're going to want to use a foam sheet or a cardboard or a glitter sheet whatever you prefer what i'll be using is this glitter sheet from hobby lobby from the craft uh stock section price is 199 and all i did was i cut two pieces just like this we're then going to glue these together Then we're gonna use our super glue to, atta to attach a little bit of our glue here. And then we're carefully gonna place this over just like that. With the remaining glitter sheet, what we're gonna do is cut a little bit smaller and line a little bit straighter. And then we're going to roll like this. We want, to be, we want to start for this to be small to big. So before we glue anything down, I'm going to bring my bunny and I'm going to make sure that it's good. I want to make sure it's a little bit thicker still. I think it's a little too big there. So let's bring it down just a notch right there. Okay, so once we do that, I'm going to release a little bit here, put more of our hot glue all the way to the top, and then just hold there for a few seconds for the glue to dry. Once this is dry, we're just going to cut the extra sheet, and then we're going to trim it down a little bit more. And this part is going to be right up here. So all you're going to do is cut this so it can be straight, so it can lay flat on the hat. And then we're going to add some of our glue right here. We'll carefully place it up here. Make sure that the seam is towards the back. And then just hold until dry. And while this is drying, we're gonna get our remaining sheet and we're gonna trace hopefully this will work around. And then we're just going to cut and glue. And then whatever piece is left, we'll just cut it off once dry. Whoa.
right there. And then we'll go ahead and cut those pieces as soon as it dries. Let's move on over to the eye. So while the rest dries and we're gonna use our black model magic clay. So what you wanna do is roll out your pieces so they can be both the same size before you do anything else. That way both eyes can be even. Now we're gonna roll them from side to side. You can leave them round or you can make them this shape. And then we're gonna put a little bit of our super glue and put right over. Then grab a piece of our white clay. Let's use a smaller piece. And we're gonna shape the nose. So roll a ball, then roll it from side to side. And we're gonna go a little bit smaller. Side to side, just like this. And then we can press down. If the clay underneath is dry, then just add super glue. But since this is the same brand of clay, it should stick well together. We're then going to get our tool and we're going to do a line down the center. And then we're going to do some little holes here for our bunny. Now that this is dry, we'll grab our scissors and we'll cut the extra sheet, the extra glitter sheet that's just showing here. Then to our ears, our ears were the ones that we just cut off. We're gonna put them going out like this, but we are gonna trim them down just a little bit more. And just using my scissors, I'm gonna make them smaller. You don't need to get another cookie cutter or shape it again, you can just shape it yourself. And we'll do this one on this side. And then let's go ahead and shape this one as well. Let's use our glue right underneath and in the back. And just hold it there for a few seconds. Then let's do the same thing with this one. Now we're gonna go in with our makeup and I use this makeup for my clays and with a brush, we're gonna do the cheeks nice and rosy. I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit so we can blend it in a little bit more. Then with another one of our brushes, we're gonna get some of our makeup. And we're gonna paint the inside of our ears. You can also use your acrylics if you like. And then go ahead and do the same thing on the other ear. Once you've done your other ear, we're gonna get a wooden dowel sharpened at the end. And we're gonna poke through, make sure that your clay is thick, in, thick enough for this. Otherwise, it's not going to go through and it's just gonna mess up your pick. Now, you wanna make sure to get it straight, not like mine. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use one of the, these big bamboo bamboo straws i do sell these on my etsy shop but you can search some on ebay or amazon 
if you like, and I'm pretty sure you can also find some there. And I'm gonna put some of my glue right up here. And then just very carefully slide it through. We're then gonna use our white paint. I'm using chalk paint, but you can use acrylic also. And we're gonna do a little nice dot on our bunny's eyes. That always brings out the cuteness in the bunny's face. Then using the other side of your toothpick, we're gonna use now our black acrylic paint. And we're gonna dip it in here, just like this. And then you're gonna do some cute eyebrows. Very easy. Now we cannot forget our nose though we almost did so you're gonna want to use your pink clay and we're gonna get a little round piece of it just a small piece this one's probably too big I want it a little bit smaller and then we're gonna press down a little Put our super glue right there. And then carefully place our nose. Then I'm gonna push down in the center to bring the noise, the noise, <laughs> the noise, the nose a little bit pointy. Just like this. And last but not least, we're gonna use this fabric here, this ruffled fabric that I found on Amazon. I just put ruffled ribbon and we're gonna put it right underneath here. So I'm gonna use my hot glue for this. And I think it's gonna be easier to pick up our bunny and put our glue right across. If you find that your hot glue is not attaching, then just switch on over to your super glue. Let me lay it back down. And then we can just lay this down on top just like this. And this is tutorial number two. Y'all ready for number three? Let's do this. For this tutorial, you're gonna need one of these uh, 320 ml glass milk jars. You can purchase these at Hobby Lobby. Amazon also has them for a good price. And you're gonna need some white acrylic paint. It's gonna be very, very easy. All you're gonna do is put some of your paint on the walls of your cup, just like this. Be generous, uh, the amount that is left, you can always put back onto your acrylic paint. And then all you're gonna do is rotate your cup. You have to be a little bit patient with this part. Just rotate your cup, it doesn't take too long until you see that it's filling up and everything is getting nice and white through the inside. So you just rotate your cup like this, make sure it doesn't spill through the front and you can see the paint coming around. Now we can lay it like this so it can all settle to the bottom. And then once it's settled to the bottom, you flip it over and you let it settle to the bottom there. And then you're gonna continue to do that until the whole glass is completely white, okay? Then the last step that you're gonna do is you're gonna get a piece of parchment paper just as I have here. And once everything is white, let's, let's see if we can get this going. Then you're gonna flip it over until you start seeing the acrylic come down. And then what I like to do is I kind of let it sit there. I open up my acrylic bottle. And then I pour as much as I can back into my acrylic bottle. I wait for it to start pouring. And then you guys can see how it's coming in right there. 
Now, you don't want to stay here forever because it's going to continue to just drain. Uh, so what I do is I lay it completely flat on top of my parchment paper. Let me see if I can get a little bit more out. I lay it flat on top of my parchment paper. I put it somewhere where if it spills, it won't get anything stained. Step number two, you let it dry. And this is what you have once it is completely dry. The cookie cutter we'll be using for this one is one a little bit smaller than this one. You can see the difference. And I'm gonna go with my pink clay, so I'm just gonna lay it down flat. And you can find your colored Model Magic clay anywhere. You can always mix them up if the color is too bright. You can always mix it up with any other color of, of clay and you can achieve the color that you want. So then we're just gonna carefully remove it, carefully. <laughs> I'm gonna press down on the ear. It lost the shape, but it's okay, we'll fix it. And then I always like to tuck in the edges. Now we're gonna see if it fits the size. I do wanna cover this up a little bit. So we're gonna see if it fits. If it's too big, which I think it is too big, then I'm gonna show you an easy way to fix this. So never mind the cookie cutter. We're gonna roll this into a ball, press it down. Get two balls almost the same size. And then roll it up, one side thinner than the other, and then we're just gonna press down on it. Then we can go in and cut our ears. and then carefully attach them. Bend right there. Now this is a good size. We're gonna use our super glue, especially since it's going on glass. Then I'm just gonna press down on the ears every, and, and everything else so it can attach and it won't be falling or sliding off. Then once more using our same pretty ribbon, we're gonna start from the center and, whoa. I'm gonna put a little bit of my hot glue right here. You don't need a whole bunch. And then we're gonna lay the ribbon on top, right there. And just bring it around all the way to the back. And we're going to go around and around. And then we can cut these off just like that. Next, you're going to need a tray or anything that you can just uh, put your fake sprinkles. And I'm going to use these pastel sprinkles that I have here. You can purchase fake sprinkles on... Etsy, I don't recommend you use a real deal. Then we're gonna go around with our glue and we're gonna put our sprinkles in all of this part of our jar. So let's start off with this and then we're just gonna pour our sprinkles over. Press down. Make sure that they attach well to the glue. And then we just knead the back. Very fast and very easy also. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit of our sprinkles and we're gonna put them right here on this part of our bunny. 
this bunny is not going to have any eyes or anything like that. It's just going to be really, really cute. Just with the little sprinkled headband. And that is all. Just like this. How cute, guys. And last but not least, your straw. Just sitting there. You don't need to do anything to your you guys if you want to share with us what you made your creations that you learned here with me you can always join our free community group over on facebook it is called craft along with glitz and glue and you can show off your super fun fake bakes that i'll be teaching you so let me just give you guys a little nice close-up of what we learned today we have our carrot and we have our mr bunny with his top hat super super adorable a reminder don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed what you learned today and don't forget to turn on that notification that bell so you can watch and not miss out on anything coming up have a fabulous day i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys